Miragica, il parco a tema del Sud Italia dal primo aprile a Molfetta. This once sprawling amusement park far down the southern Italian peninsula hasn't welcomed any visitors for the past four years. Now, only grass pushes through the concrete of its vacant parking lots, leaving a strong sense of extinction in place. Park's inauguration took place back in April 2009, little anyone knowing it would permanently close its doors to any visitors barely a decade thereafter. After the first record seasons, turnover stagnated until 2008, the park's last operational season. The rustle of dry vegetation has now replaced sounds of joy and laughter of families as greenery and palm trees are gradually encroaching the park. The owners of this park, that spanned 25 acres and had 18 attractions, once had the ambition to make this the main amusement park in southern Italy, but instead their investment of $42 million is now gone with the winds. It's time to dream away in a distorted version of your childhood today as I explore this massive place and find out drills at this park still exist. Some of them, however, unforeseen. Alright guys, so welcome back on a new video. I can't believe this, I drove for freaking 10 hours or something. But we're gonna do something epic. This is just the start, it's night time right now. We're gonna do a little inspection and tomorrow I'm completely alone. Gonna get inside of an abandoned amusement park here in Italy. It's supposed to be freaking insane. But the only thing is that there are two security guards on the premises. Apparently they change shifts, one for the night, one for the day. Uh, right now we're gonna have a look around, see what the situation looks like uh, and prepare a little bit for tomorrow. It's gonna be early morning, uh, but I'm really excited for this. This is like a child's dream for me 
and amusement parks in this state and this size are extremely rare to find in Europe. There are many amusement parks in China and Asia and other continents. The United States as well I believe but in Europe it's very rare so tomorrow morning is gonna be a special day. Let's start driving now and see how the situation looks like. Next day we made our way to the park early in the morning. So Sarah is gonna stay in the car. Sarah, come here. Oh damn. Good luck. I hope I can do this really. Oh. You know what guys? For me this is really like a dream exploration, something I've been dreaming about for a long time ever since I was a little boy, having an entire amusement park completely for myself. I'm not gonna wait for any longer, I'm going. Seda, bye bye. It's literally the first time in years that I'm taking the little bag again. I'm gonna switch batteries, okay. It's freaking open right now. It was time to explore the park now all by myself. But knowing there are two security guards active on the premises was not going to make things any easier. Alright, so this was the complete parking lot of the park once. Nowadays it's just full of weeds and growing vegetation. You can already see the roller coaster over there. It's so insane. Alright, so wish me luck, everyone. And fingers crossed I don't get caught. So I just made my way inside. I already see some calendar dates from 2015 from events that were going on inside. One thing for sure, it's definitely abandoned. It's actually the first amusement park, theme park exploration on this channel. As you can see, some first finds of vandalism. Quite well, sad uh, that people break. Dang. Even still, a lot of things are hanging up there. Things they sold inside the park. What? It's just opened. I hope it's not alarmed.
I see a camera there, I'm not sure if it's functioning. I'm gonna save this for later, but I think this was like a merch store or something. Yeah, you can still read their shop. <laughs> there is even like a super shoe stand there. Alright, let's just go for it. This was once the main entrance. Wow, over there they would have bought all the tickets. Benvenuti is still saying, welcome in a spark. <laughs> well, we're already at the waiting line for all the tickets. So all the monitors and everything are still standing there behind the counters. It's absolutely insane. Alright. Let's take the main route. There I am. the ground gate right in front of me some fountains here where one's gushing water <laughs> so funny there is like this monkey or something Imagine that once visitors would walk in inside of here every day. It was once a vivid place and now it's just full of nature and vegetation. Looks like this was once sort of uh, an office and here a restaurant. This is so insane. <laughs> we have a carousel over here in the middle. And there is a pigeon sitting on top of the doors over there. <laughs> Now, as I told you yesterday, you see all these cables? People have actually stolen them and ripped them. Copper thieves and everything. And that's why the park cannot reopen at the moment. We still see all the billboards hanging out of the park as well.
when somebody was sitting here controlling everything. Let's see if I can capture a glimpse right underneath the huge cover around this carousel. Absolutely magical. When I was a kid, I also loved sitting on the rock, rocking horses inside of carousels. Just imagine how kids are just having the time of their life here. So sad the bar closed. Honestly, if I hear security, that would be a pretty good spot to hide. Everything seems cool. I think so. Alright, so over here we still have some navigation marks of where we can go. Senza Fiato is the roller coaster, I think. I really want to go to the roller coaster first. Dang. There are so many reptiles and little animals here in the bushes. I continuously keep on being shocked. Maybe this was once filled with water. Game for the children. There we can see the roller coaster. Insane. Oh, and if you had some pictures being taken on the ride, you could buy them right over here. I was hoping that the cars would still be there, but. They seem to have been stored somewhere. They're not there anymore. Absolutely insane. <laughs> wow. Dang. So cool. And honestly, so far so good. I haven't really witnessed any activity so far or strange things happening. I still remember this moment very well. As a child I've always been, yeah, quite a small height and I'm still not very tall. And you need to be 140 to go inside the roller coaster. I struggled so often with it because I wanted to go in the roller coaster but it was not possible. Alright, let's just go down here.
I want to get on that side of the roller coaster. But I think I have to climb this to get there. Alright. Well. There we are. Walking right next to the roller coaster. It's so insane. Normally you never get to walk in these areas because it's very prohibited. Right now you just have everything for yourself. It's so insane. I keep on saying the word insane but the emotions that go through my blood and through my body right now are indescribable. Wow. feeling is good and that I'm still safe in this place but of course I still have to remain on my guard I've heard Italian security in this part of Italy is not friendly Seems that I'm still good. I think over here people would have been waiting outside of the ride, the roller coaster, if they didn't dare to go in. Sadly, the future of this beautiful park doesn't look bright at all. After its closure in the 2018 season, the continuous search for a buyer to resume operations did not bear fruit and the coronavirus pandemic did not make things any easier. At the end of 2019, the company had accumulated $25 million in losses and the net wealth was negative for $14.8 million and the company was declared bankrupt. Nantalus, 
there still was hope. The bankruptcy of Mirajika might allow a group to acquire the spark for a derisory price, or in any case to acquire some of its attractions. Until January 2021, a vast column of black smoke invaded the coastline due to a massive fire that broke out in the amusement park. The high flames destroyed about 10,000 square feet and burned rubber, plastic panels and heaps of various kinds of waste and overgrown vegetation. Ultimately, in 2021, the bankruptcy measure was concluded with dismantling a major part of the main attractions many of which were newly relocated to other amusement parks, including a park in Tuscany. Leaving the former team park's grounds now, a playful wasteland showing a dystopic contrast where humanity and nature combine. Oh wow, oh dang, this is insane. This is always one of my favorite rides inside amusement parks. Dang. All the gates are also just open, you literally walk inside. I hope that's not for me. It sounds very close. I really hope it's not for me. Where did I trigger something? I really don't understand it. I don't want to go already. There's still so much to show you. It's definitely on the amusement park, guys, this alarm. I triggered an alarm, I think. What the heck? Where's this coming from, man? Where was the bistro? Freaking hell. Stop, please. What you got, alarm? Dang, look at this. Yeah, I really have to be in my guard. The alarm is loudly going off in the park. Close to me. Stop. Hey, stop. I hope it's only a deterrent to scare people away. Where are some rides for children? Damn, look at all these cute houses there. Also a little free fall over here for the children. Ah, oh, luckily. Thank God it stopped. But maybe somebody is alerted in the security shed right now. 
So from this point, I really have to stay on my guard. I really have to pay attention now. Watch 360 all the time. It's so cool how everything is still in place and hardly anything is vandalized. Just love it. Maybe it was just a test alarm. It's still seven o'clock. I haven't seen or heard any persons yet. But right now it's really ninja mode on. Dang. It was a little catering part. Over here was another ride. You can see all the stripped cables on the ground. Los Pacatempo was the name of that ride. Where was another ride, but what was it? I want to have a look there, but if they come, I'm quite stuck inside. Maybe security's even called right now. And they still have to come to the park. All right. Let's hide inside of here for a bit. What was this? No freaking way. This was like a water slide. The jungle water slide. Still the cars are there. No water inside anymore. Dang, that's insane. It's making a lot of noise with all those dry cracking leaves so gonna go out of here. It was at this point I saw two security guards with a dog walking only six feet away from me and I decided to hide under the water splash attraction. I ended up hiding here for almost two hours. I ended up hiding here for almost two hours, hearing the alarm ring several times throughout the park. 
as soon as I got the chance to get out unseen, I decided to call it quits and leave the park as quick as I could. My friend Sarah was meanwhile already waiting for me to pick me up at the edges of the park. Unfortunately, I lost all this footage from my GoPro, so here is an outro for where I'm currently at and what has been keeping me busy lately. guys unfortunately sometimes it happens that you lose your footage in this case I had super cool GoPro footage but unfortunately because I think while I was doing my backups I deleted my footage and I lost the GoPro footage of me escaping from security and in the end the answer is I made it out I explored I would say 50% of the park and that's why I made a lot of drone shots to show you the steam park as a whole. And yeah, for me this was a really special explore. Back then it was actually the first real abandoned theme park that I filmed on this channel. But I never published it, it dates back from over a year ago. As you can see the sun is slowly setting there at the horizon. I'm actually currently at the Niagara Falls in New York, America side. And I just want to take some time to explain some things a little bit more of what I've been doing lately and also what the reason is why there are no videos anymore every week. I've been putting out a lot of content lately, making videos almost every single day. Currently there are over 100 videos that I still have to publish on this channel but that you have not seen yet. I hear some police sirens in the background. And I've just been super busy out there filming because I do all the filming and editing all by myself. I basically run the channel by myself. Although Raymond often joins me. He was here in America with me for two months. I do all everything by myself because that's what I like being a creator. Editing videos, putting my passion, my emotion in it. And I just felt like I needed to update you a little bit more on the situation, what's been going on. But wow, here we are almost four years later i would say three and a half year right now after we started this channel and i believe there are over 250,000 people subscribed so if you're seeing this thanks to you for making a dream for me come possible to to travel the world to to see all of this i mean i can believe that i'm 23 years old and i get to see and experience all of this and I'm just very grateful and I feel very blessed that I get to take you on all those adventures as well. So yeah, I'm sitting here in Niagara Falls at the moment because I need to go to Canada. At the moment I'm already seven months in America and I need to go to Canada and come back to the US territory in order to actually extend my visa because every time I get a visa for three months as a tourist, but I need to extend my visa in order to be able to stay here for a longer time. My time is running low in this country. The America series are almost finished and I'm super excited to actually uh, finally drop them. Expect them somewhere around this summer or maybe during the winter time, but they're gonna start this year. Already filmed over 50 episodes in this great, enormous and also beautiful country. Very diverse places. Of course, time capsule houses and mansions, but also we've done theme parks, we've done an abandoned bank, we've done aristocratic places. There is a lot to it. We even did an abandoned hospital, so. And we're even gonna do some more crazy explorers. We're gonna do, go to abandoned islands. There is a lot. I've been super, super busy, and lately I've also been focusing more on quality of the videos instead of quantity. I would love to hear your honest opinion down in the comment section of what you thought about this particular video. It took me more than a week to make this video, and I just want the videos to be more dynamic, try to get better at editing, learn about new techniques, and just be creative in the post-editing process. So yeah, leave it down in the comment section if you like this exploration. Unfortunately, my original outro was on the GoPro footage, which I lost. Then you know the drill. Hit the like button, of course, and also subscribe to the channel right down below. 
it's free and you will never miss out on every single video that I post. Uh, there are still two more videos to the Italy series season three and I hope to post both videos next week. One video is going to be about a little place and the other video is going to be a grand finale like they would say in Europe. It's a really good one and you don't want to miss out on this one. It's an incredible and intriguing abandoned castle in Italy. I believe the second castle that I've ever explored in Italy because most of them have been palaces. You don't want to miss out on that. And for now, all I want to say is thank you so much again, guys, for all your endless support. Really priceless and really speechless for everything that we've received throughout the years. But that would not have been possible without all of you. So everybody at home, thank you so much. If you want to support me on my travels, because I'm all by myself traveling currently, it's not cheap. There'll be a little link down below in the description to a Patreon or a PayPal. Feel free to sign up and all the tiny bits help. And then, of course, all my kindness, blessings, regards and greetings to all of you from Niagara Falls. The sun just went down the horizon, but we still got some daylight. And yeah, with that having said, peace out, guys. And I will see you on the next adventure in Italy. Bye bye.